Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you the exact five steps to shred your belly fat in the shortest amount of time possible and finally reveal your abs using my unique five shredding secrets without having to rely on any restrictive diets and eating chicken, broccoli and rice because we all know that's boring as fuck. And by the end of this video, you're going to know exactly how to lose the weight and keep it off eating chocolate cake and all of your favorite foods with these five simple components. And just so I don't waste anyone's time, this video is only for busy guys willing to actually make a change, take some action on what I say and put in the work necessary to reach your goals. And the reason why you can't lose this weight is because you're not doing these five simple things. And this has never worked in the past for you because you don't have a plan that you can actually stick to and sustain for a long period of time. So come with me guys, I'm just gonna jump straight on my computer right now and break this down for you. Okay guys, coming in at number one is focus and sustainability. So results take time. You can't expect to do something for one week and get the results you want, especially when it comes to weight loss and fitness. You can't fast track it. There is no such thing as fast tracking. You have to put in the work, stay consistent, and the results will come over time. Yes, you can speed up the results by doing the correct stuff and following the correct plan. And that's what I'm gonna break down with you guys right now. So focus and sustainability. Just focus on the basics. Like the only thing you need to reach your goals is correct nutrition, correct training, and consistency. That's it. You don't need to overcomplicate it and think you need a thousand different things. They're the three things that will get you to where you want to be. So number one, focus and sustainability, pretty straightforward. Number two is figure out your starting calories and macros. So how are we going to do this? You're going to use a TDEE calculator. TDEE stands for Total Daily Exercise Expenditure. How you're going to find this is head over to caloriecalculator.net, this website right here. Plug in your age, male, your height, your weight, put in how much you exercise and it's going to give you, you hit calculate here and this is what you need. To maintain your weight, you need to eat 2,200 calories for mild weight loss, which is 250 grams a week, eat 2,000 calories. For 500 grams a week of weight loss, 1,700 and to lose a kilo a week, 1,200 calories. Super, super simple guys, you know. Don't have to overcomplicate it. Use a TDEE calculator to figure out what your daily caloric intake is and stick to whichever one it says for your specific body type. So super straightforward there. Then you're going to want to figure out the macronutrients. So you need to be having a high protein diet. You can't be having high carb, high fat. You need high protein. And I recommend having 1.7 to 2 grams per kilo of body weight. So me, for example... 85 kilos, I'd be having 170 grams of protein a day. Whilst that can be difficult and confusing for some of you, it's actually not too hard. An example of a day of eating to have 180 grams of protein, take two scoops of protein in the morning with some oats, that's probably about 55, 60 grams. A chicken breast, that's like another 70 grams of protein. Some yogurt, Yopro, Greek yogurt, that can be like another 50 grams. So you don't have to overcomplicate it, you just really have to learn foods that are high in protein that are easy to prepare and easy to cook and then it won't be hard. So yeah, 1.7 to 2 grams protein and the rest, fats and carbs, really depends on which you prefer. I like carbs. I keep my fats moderately low. I wouldn't go anywhere under 60 grams. 60 grams is the absolute lowest you'd go just because the macronutrient fat keeps your hormones in check and really balances out your hormones. So you can't just be having no fats and carbs are an energy source. Carbs convert to glycogen, which is glucose, and they're stored in your muscles. So I like carbs. I keep my fats low. And how are you going to track all of this? You're going to use a kitchen scale and the app MyFitnessPal to track. So MyFitnessPal is such an easy app to use. It literally takes like three minutes, four minutes out of your day to track this stuff and weigh it. And with the app MyFitnessPal, you can actually hit a barcode, there's me, and you can literally scan the food's barcode, so it's so easy, you just scan it put, it, put it on the scale, put in how much it weighs, and bang, you have your food tracked, like, super, super simple, guys. What foods to eat? I recommend 80% whole foods, 20%, whatever you want, you wouldn't want to go anything under that, just because 
it matters. Like it matters the the macronutrients, micronutrients you're putting into your body. Whilst it is calories in, calories out, if you just eat shit food, you're gonna feel like shit. Whole foods make you feel like you have superpowers. Like if you can actually stick to a whole foods diet for like a week straight, there are so many benefits from it. Mental clarity, your sleep will be better, your energy levels will be a lot better. So this is what I like to follow, 80% whole foods, 20% whatever. And the reason why we do 20% whatever is just because it makes it more sustainable. You know, you can still eat 20%. If you want to have a small bag of chips, have a small bag of chips. If you want to have a small chocolate bar, have a small chocolate bar. That's the sustainable approach. And that's how we're going to actually get you to stick to a diet. So after doing all of this, number three is the training. Although you can still lose a bunch of weight and not even be inside the gym, the gym will speed it up. You increasing your muscle mass will also increase how fast you lose fat loss depending on how much muscle mass you have. So I always recommend training, but then again, 90% of fat loss results will come from nutrition alone. And training is different for everyone. You know, the approach you take, the program you follow, and the exercises you can stick to. That's what's gonna make a perfect program for you depending on your schedule and your lifestyle. Anything that you can stick to is a great program. I recommend if you're just getting started, just training three times a week with progressive overload. What progressive overload is, is say I go into the gym today and I bench press 40 kilos. Next time I go into the gym, I wanna bench press 42 kilos. And if I don't up the weight, I'll up the reps. That's to ensure you're always doing more than last time and that is called progressive overloading. And number four is tracking progress and making adjustments. So you need to be tracking stuff, guys. It's the same as like, say you start a business, right? You're not gonna start a business, spend a bunch of money on products, spend a, spend a bunch of money on marketing and not track it because you don't know if you're losing money or not. Like it's the same with fitness. Like. If you don't track stuff, you're just guessing. Whilst you still might get results, they're gonna be nowhere near as good if you're tracking stuff. And if you're actually serious about getting into shape, it shouldn't be a problem tracking stuff. So you're gonna to wanna to track your morning weight and take progress photos every single week. Figure out what your average weigh-in is every single morning, calculate the average, the weekly average, and compare it to the previous week. And you wanna take photos every single week so you can compare those photos week to week to see how much your body is changing. And a lot of questions I get asked, what do you do when a plateau hits, when your weight loss stops? Simple guys, it's science. You either eat less or move more. There's nothing else you can do to break that plateau. It's either you eat less food or you, you increase your activity level, like adding a cardio session, adding an extra 3,000 steps a day, adding an ex extra resistance training session. Simple as that, guys. I recommend increasing your daily activity level by 20% decreasing your calories by around two to 300 calories. And obviously, if you don't lose any weight after the next seven days of making those changes, you didn't make enough adjustments. So go back in, make some more changes and your plateau will stop and you'll continue losing weight. These are just some bonuses, guys, that I do get asked quite a lot. Um, I'll just cover them right now. So alcohol, you can still drink alcohol every day and lose weight. What I've been saying is calories in, calories out. So if you're in a calorie deficit, you will still lose weight. Just make sure you're tracking it in my fitness pal to make sure you're not going over your caloric intake and then bang, you can have alcohol every day and lose weight. Do I recommend it? No, but if you really need to, you can. Supplements. Supplements are amazing, especially when you're trying to get your protein in. It can be hard to hit your protein target. Two scoops of protein powder is 50 grams of protein, plus protein powder tastes good. Like mix it with some almond milk. Almond milk has no calories. Put it with your oats. It's nice. It tastes good. So protein powder, it's awesome supplement. Creatine as well is a great supplement. And I personally like pre-workout because the caffeine, it's always nice to have a caffeine hit before you go into the gym. So you can train longer. Endurance is better. So they're my three favorite supplements. Now let's talk cardio, guys. So cardio is such a big topic when it comes to weight loss. So many people have different approaches to cardio. My approach, what I think is the best, what I do myself, what I get all my clients to do is daily steps. Daily steps is gonna be the best bang for your buck in terms of cardio because no one likes going to the gym or just getting on a treadmill and walking on a treadmill or sprinting on a treadmill for 30 minutes. Like it's boring, it sucks, you sweat. Set a step goal. I recommend starting at around six to 8,000 steps and use that as leverage to break your, ah, use that 
as leverage to break your plateau when you plateau. Plus, go outside, touch some grass, look at the sun, clear your mind, listen to a podcast, have a coffee. It's nice. It, it makes you feel good when you're out in public walking, walking in nature. Like, It's good. It's good for your mind. Plus, it's good to lose weight. So daily steps, in my opinion, best form of cardio. I do both just because I'm a maniac. I don't care. I enjoy the pain. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this valuable, make sure to leave a like, subscribe. Go check me out on Instagram at Vinny D Fit and drop a comment. Have a great day, guys.